built the same way. I don't know about you, but I don't have a twist throttle, so. <laughs> no. I just had it. <laughs> I've got ranging on my uh, hat switch, though. Um, so if I hit control and hat switch, I can I can range it that way. All right. All right, looks like the runway's off our left there. Before we go, we'll do a takeoff brief. Basically, we're taking off uh, full combat. We are going to make... Let me think. Uh, we're just gonna depart on a heading of about 200, so 200. Left-hand turn, and I'll call that. You'll make a parade formation off my left wing first. Well, actually, just for practice, let's do a pattern around. So we'll make left pattern around the airfield. When we first take off, I'll notify you of a power drop down to continuous. Keep parade formation off my left wing. I'll call uh, tactical or patrol, uh, one of the two, once we get up to altitude. Copy all. All right, let's taxi. I gotta write a document that standardizes like takeoff and form up for procedures as well. So we can ditch all that briefing stuff at the beginning. Two's ready. I'm gonna get lined up. So another principle I kind of want to talk about is uh, kind of like sterile cockpit. I don't know if you've heard of the term. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. But basically, it's what airliners use. Whenever they go uh, below 10,000 feet, it's a sterile cockpit. Uh, and that kind of makes sense because once they go below 10,000 feet, that means they're, like, landing or they're still climbing up, right? So their workload is real high down there. So, cut out all the extraneous talk, radio brevity takes priority, and that's kind of what I want to practice a little bit as well. Uh, but for us, it's going to be when we're up high in, uh, in the patrol area, right? Like, when we're near the airfield here, we can still yeah. chatter off a little bit, like, it's not that big of a deal. But once we get out there, uh, we, we want to maintain uh, radio brevity. So just keep that in mind. Okay. All right, we got a P-47 behind us here. All right, and let's roll. Down to continuous seven pounds. Two. 
left. And just for this flight, occasionally I'll take off the flight leader hat and put on the instructor hat. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> just to, just to, like if I have to know anything. Yep. Yeah, that'll be more helpful than try to remember it all for the end of the flight. So rejoin in parade left. Sometimes some of our flight leaders are a little bit inexperienced, so they'll do rash maneuvers, uh, and you just gotta do your best to keep up with them, but once they get experience, what they should do in at least parade formation is like real nice, gentle maneuvers, right? Like, I'm not really doing much of a thing here, and right. that's to not throw you off. If you do what Amazing does, like, maneuver violently in close to me, <laughs> you know, that's why he got demoted. <laughs> I didn't know he ever was promoted. He was at one point. <laughs> was he like an XO or something? Yeah, he was, 99. Wow. Oh, you know what, I vaguely remember that. And yeah. then he was like arguing with everyone in TAW. Uh-huh. Yo. <laughs> Just him being him. Yeah. Alright, that's a very good parade formation there. And one thing uh, you want to keep in mind, flying this close formation, is you're basically an extension of my wing. So you're always staying right at that exact position, no matter my pitch attitude, my bank angle, or whatever. Right? So if I roll out slowly to the right here, you should climb a little bit, oh, not that much, <laughs> to stay exactly at that position. Think of the Thunderbirds or the Blue Angels, like that crazy close formation they do all the time, and they roll in that formation too, right? Like you're staying right there. And all my maneuvers are going to be a little gentle, like this and just do your best to stay right there. A little bit of a right turn here. So you should come up a little bit, yep. Power up a little bit, since you're outside of the turn. And then here comes a left turn. Real nice and slow. Drop down, yeah, just like that. Maybe not that much power cut. It's going to take a minute for me to learn that I can trust you're not going to do something sudden. <laughs> yeah. You say left and I'm in that spot, I go, oh boy, I need to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. But that was a pretty easy turn, so. Yeah. And this is like the maximum amount of bank you would want to have in, in a parade formation. Like 10 degrees. Unless you're the Blue Angels, you know, <laughs> not going to have the skills to keep up. Yeah. All right, we'll complete this left turn here and uh, we'll go down south. What stick do you use, by the way? Uh, Thrustmaster T16000. Okay. I would I would guess an upgrade's not too far down the road. Everything's getting a little sticky. Yeah. I have the War Dog. Like the I heard the gimbal is nice, but like the or or something along those lines. But there's like people have complaints about it. I don't really see it. It, it is a little bit twitchy. Uh, to get real precise control movements, 
you want one of those stick extenders. Ah, uh, yeah. Because people call a lever arm. And I, I didn't think that was that big of a deal back then, but now I fly uh, tail draggers in real life. So like I, I get oh, okay. to see how the stick works, and it really does help a lot if you have that lever arm. We're gonna level off, right take, below. Takes a bigger movement to do a smaller thing. Yeah, it'll help on your gunnery as well. Ah. Also, another thing that flight leads should be doing is running their power a little bit lower than advertised. So, like right now, I'm on continuous, 64% RPM and throttle. If I say that. I should be running about, let's say, 62, like 60 to 62. And if your wingmen are good enough, which they should be at some point, they don't even need that power call out, you know? Like, you just yeah. call out continuous combat emergency, and then they just do whatever they have to do to keep up, because unless you're flying straight at level, which you're not going to do all the time. You're going to have to keep moving that throttle to keep up. Yep. Yeah, I actually fly Techno Chat off, so, but I know those settings for the spin. Okay, yeah. That's about six pounds of boost for me. Yeah. And I don't know if you know this, but the wingman always burns more fuel than the flight leader. I've noticed that, and it makes sense because I'm doing all this catching up and and whatnot. Yeah, it gets especially bad in, in like the jets. The F-18s, they come back with like 3,000 pounds or something more, uh, sorry, less than the leader, like all the time. Wow. That's why you always want to cut inside the turn whenever you can, because that saves you on both distance and you don't have to catch up that much. It just saves fuel whenever you need to. Yeah. We're going to river down level yep looks like we're heading over Stalingrad yep. contact 12 o'clock two of them below clouds left to right copy a right, tactical wedge to the right Make sure you call two when you do it. Ah, uh, right. Two. Better late than never, right? Four contacts, one o'clock far below cloud deck. Tally. Maintain heading. I'm on about 210. No call outs on the radar. They should be friendly. Copy. So the instructor hat on now. Uh, when you're kind of pushed out like that, now you can also uh, look around, like visual, what you've been doing, so that's good. Yep. And also stay aware uh, navigation-wise. Okay. So tell me where we are right now, roughly. Uh, approximately 1025. All right, good. Just remember that order. Flight lead, visual, navigation. Yep. Come in a little bit, you're too far. Two. Uh, so I made a mistake there. Clogged up the comms. I should have said two close up formation, right? <laughs> We've taught you bad habits. Yep. 
I've gotten into the uh, the habit of requesting instead of ordering. Yeah. Now, at a moment like this, could I also say two sucked? Uh, you don't really have to. Like, okay. if I don't know you're back there, then you can. Uh, just to add situational awareness. But what you should be doing is just try just to... Just coming up. Okay. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I guess as long as you're a little below continuous, I should be able to make up for it without burning my engine out. Yep. Flight right turn. Two. Always cross under. I thought you'd said to go high. That's on a cross turn. Whenever you're, uh, whenever you're trying to separate in a normal formation, always cross under. And the reason for that is it keeps uh, me in sight at all times. Okay, so I can deconflict. That's also uh, a thing on rejoins. So if I call rejoin into a parade formation, you're coming in, you find out you're going too fast, right? You dip under so you can still see me. You never lose sight during a rejoin. A lot of people will lift that wing to try and stay on my left side. But if by doing that, they lift that wing and block sight of me, that's when collisions happen. You get Got what it. I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. Heading is two six five. Two. Flight delayed turn 90. To the right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Two. Make combat spread. Heading is three, four, five. Contact, 11 o'clock, far, or the low. Two, no joy. Right. Contact 11 o'clock level, medium range. Two copies. Right, right below clouds. Eyes on two or three below him. Tally ho. Ten o'clock diving. Two copies. Contact 10 o'clock, close. Eyes on six. Fallen uh, fighting wing, combat power.
we're gonna try to catch the high guy. Two. Left turn up and over. 109, nine o'clock. Copy. Shots. power. I'm going to try and catch it. I got first shot. Copy. Hits. He's diving below clouds. Two. I'm pulling out. Egress, 340. Two copies, 340, uh, blind through the cloud. I got eyes on you, maintain heading. Negative contact, that was someone else. Turning to 340. Altitude. Angels, 10. Come below clouds. Uh, I'm just below the clouds. Roger. I might be crossing in front of you here, 12 o'clock, left to right. Copy, eyes on you, flying maybe 20? Yeah, a little bit of climb. Copy. Forming up. Roger. Rejoin, uh, tactical wedge left. Two copies. I think I might have used up like half my cannon ammo there. You put a lot of hits into him. It was good shooting. I couldn't believe yeah. he was still flying. No, he went down. Oh, he did. Okay, nice work. Yep. So in a situation like that, when I call a fighting wing, you want to try and separate uh, just enough so that you can stay with the fight, but not close enough that you'll lose me too easily, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It'd be interesting um, maybe to look at this later. I was right with you until you dove back down through the cloud and then you pulled off after you'd gotten through the cloud. I was in the middle of the cloud at that moment, so I had yeah. no idea what direction you went. Yeah, it's a little bit tough. It, it wasn't your fault. It was, we were in the clouds, it's tough. So. Yep, yep. But especially if we're chasing someone like that, you always want to push out into the direction you think he will turn, right? So you kind of pincer, yeah. pincer him in. That way, when I overshoot, you can just kind of dive right in and take my place. Yep. Contact, uh, 11 o'clock, low. Tally. He's diving, we're not gonna chase. Contact, two, one o'clock, far, co out. Tally. Flight, go fighting wing. Right turn. Two.
Combat power. Two. Contact is two of them, 12 o'clock and one o'clock. Looks like they're chasing one. Two has eyes on both. But this initial stage of engagement, you want to stick a little bit closer. So cross here to my right wing. Okay. And really at this point, you just kind of want to switch sides as you need. Make sure you stay out of my tail cone. That way I can still see you. Yeah. Contact is a P-51 right on top of me. He's trailing black smoke. Negative on P-51. There aren't any. Sorry, that's an LA-5. Good, good correction. Leading is a Bandit 109, looks like. Diving through the clouds. Uh, negative, Focky Wolf. Two. Flight breaking off right. Two. We've got a long six. I'll call your break. Long six is P38. Two. Down continuous. Flight maintain tactical wedge. So where should you be at right now? Probably back a little bit, right? Nope, you're too high. Oh, fair so enough. You've got to be in line with your wings. Yeah. Yep, always do that. Otherwise, your wing is going to block my view, or your view of me. Yeah, got it. One heading. One three zero. Copy. So while we're flying out here, I'm going to talk a little bit about flight lead responsibilities as well. Alright. Uh, since you're the CO, you're going to be leading a lot of flights, right? So you probably already have a little bit of experience in that. Yeah. What I'm primarily looking at is you, first of all. That's going to be the main thing in these tactical formations. I'm looking at you, you're looking at me. It's a mutual support formation. And right, and then after that, I'm looking out away in front of me, behind me, to the left side, away from the formation for any other contacts. So that should be the order you're looking at things. Wingman, outside formation, and then navigation.
Got it. And that's really only in these uh, mutual support formations. When I'm in a, uh, a fighting wing formation, for example, like I locked onto a bandit, I'm going to be looking at him pretty much 100% of the time. I'm only going to be glancing back once in a while, check my six, make sure you're still there and all that. Uh, but otherwise, I'm trusting you to keep my six clear and to keep the flight safe. That's why we have the fighting wing formation. It allows you to maneuver while still keeping me in sight and also allowing you to keep our six clear. Right. Yeah, so, so fighting wing is like the most flexible or, or the one that lets me do the most thinking. Yep. And another thing is, unless you call blind, when I say fighting wing, like I'm chasing you down a bandit, I'm gonna trust that you're back there and you see me. Right, yeah. That's like in that in that last fight, I, I called blind as soon as I punched out of the cloud and couldn't spot you. Yep, that was good, because that gave me the heads up, and then I immediately looked back to check my six. Ah. If you don't, yeah, if you don't call it, that's how you get your flight leader killed, because they think you're still looking, but you're yeah. not. There, uh, what would you say if you became unblind after calling blind? Visual. Okay. So here's another good lesson. Visual is when calling it relative to friendly aircraft. Tally is when relative to bogey or bandit aircraft. Okay. Ah, okay. Rather yeah. than eyes on, which is what I've been saying. Uh, yeah, for our purposes, you can use that too, you know. Eyes on or visual, either one is fine. Okay. But that's why we have distinctive terms. Yep. Give a little context. Yeah. Flight right hand. Two. Make sure you make that crossover nice and smooth. You don't want to go over, shoot out too far, and then have to catch up. Copy that. And another thing is, if you're already on the inside of the turn, and I'm making like a real nice slow turn like this, you can just stay inside, right? Yeah. It wasn't clear to me how, how uh, sharp a turn that was going to end up as. Uh -huh. That should be uh, another thing I have to make. So I can differentiate it by like right turn or right hand, meaning a standard turn rate and then sharp right or uh, like sharp left, mm. something like that. I gotta put that in. So I know whether to switch sides or not. Yeah. At the same time, you don't want to overcomplicate it to where it's too much for, especially a new person to remember. Yeah, that's true. Or maybe it's just like beginner or advanced call outs or something, I don't know. Uh -huh. Contact 3 o'clock low at our tanks. No joy. Roger. And here's another thing as well about calling contacts. Uh, you kind of want to read the, the mood of the flight at the time. So like if my workload is high or low, right? If the flight's workload is high, then you might want to emit some low priority contacts. Like contacts are really far away. That really doesn't matter to you right now. For example, if I'm trying to find where we are and then you call contact like real far away, that doesn't really add anything to the flight. I probably can't see it anyways. Yeah, that makes sense. Versus if we're hunting and we're all just looking for anything. 
Yeah. Get like a little, a little bit of a low workload environment. Yeah. Relatively speaking. Level three one zero. Two copy. Can you explain the route you're taking us on, just so I understand how you're thinking about that as a flight lead? Yeah, so right now I'm basically just, you know, flying along the combat area. Right now we're about, like, 11.23. Uh, I try to keep the flight along where the action will happen. If I'm trying to reorganize the flight, then I'll take us out uh, back towards our area a little bit. Uh, okay. But otherwise, it's kind of just like a solo flight, right? Fly around for a little bit, look yeah. for stuff. Not really much to go on. What I do like to do, though, is uh, I'll actually show you here. Flight right turn. Two. Sometimes I like to do a box patrol. So this is, uh, basically what this is, is I designate an area of operation to act as a center of the box. So for us, that would probably be like where the tanks are right now. And then I would fly cardinal headings uh, around the outside, making a box, right? Heading 360. Two copy. And I actually like to fly that in uh, combat spread. So uh, flight, make combat spread right. not far from combat spread already, right? Nope. You just gotta throttle up a little bit, get on my wing tip. So the tanks right now are, is a little bit behind our wing tip at our 4 o'clock. Tally. Flight delay turn right 90 degrees. 2. So hold that heading. Stop the turn. Oh. I got to go first. That's right? right. That's right. So when you call two, I went. Gotcha. And yeah, so when you're on the inside of the turn, you want to be looking at me. When my nose is roughly pointed where you are, that's when you want to start that turn going. Yeah, okay. Flight rejoin combat spread. Let's have you come to the right. So that way you can burn some energy or wait for me to catch up by turning to the right, right? You see me? Yeah. So turn to the right, come on my right wing. Right there, that's good. Yeah, I was doing S turns trying to bleed some of my 
position, I guess. Uh huh. So right now we're on the northern end of the box here. Now when we get to roughly, uh, I wouldn't say like the river, or actually, yeah, looking at the map, the river is pretty close to our tanks. So we'll, we'll fly all the way to the river, and then we're gonna make another delay turn to the right down south. So that's gonna be on the east side of that box. Copy. So you'll notice, you'll notice when I draw this box on the map, I never fly through the actual uh, area of operation because I want to see it, right? If okay. I fly right over it, then I'm not going to see it at all. That's the thing you want to understand about air combat is that when you're in the thick of things, you're not going to see anything because everything is all around you, right? Yeah, so put it all on one side. Uh, yeah, offset it to one side. Get that big picture, and then dive in, do what you gotta do, and then get out. It's interesting to me that you go as far in that box, like, into into enemy lanes or whatever. Yeah. I can actually go pretty far. Uh, well, I, I mean, over here on this map, I, I only went, like, one grid into their lines. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Just depends on the situation. Flight delayed right 90. Two. So another thing is, uh, I should probably brief the squadron on the uh, the standard rate of turn for us, because uh, like if everyone's turning at a different rate, then that kind of gets messy, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of probably not 45. That's a little bit low, but like 50 to 60 degrees of bank. That probably do it pretty well, because you don't gotta whip it around, right? Right. How do you, uh, how would you tell if you're 50 to 60 degrees of bang? You look outside. <laughs> At the horizon, <laughs> eyeball it. Like, you can eyeball 45 pretty good, right? Just go yeah. a little bit beyond that. Okay, that's fair. Of course, a lot of turn speed would depend on how hard you lean into the elevator, too, right? Yeah, but if you, uh, if you get that bank in, and then just keep that nose on the horizon, right? Then okay, everyone should sure. have roughly the same amount uh, of rate of turn. Yeah. Because if you think about it, if you pull up too much, then your nose is going to come above, right? Yeah. Flight delay turn right 90. Two. Go right about here. That was a little bit late on the turn. So make sure you start that turn right when I'm about crossing that 45 degree point, okay? Okay. Yeah, I guess I was thinking it was when you were nose on me, but... Yeah, that, that works sometimes, but not all the time. Especially when you're not perfectly in line with my wingtip when we start that turn. Gotcha. Yeah, I was probably still a little ahead of you, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, you were actually a little bit behind, that's why. Oh, okay. So, if my wing, if my nose is right on you when you're a bit behind, I'm going to be pretty much on the heading already. 
right. Yeah, so just visualize my nose going 45 degrees, that's when you should. Okay. I'll try to watch when you do it on this next one too, if we make it that okay. far. Sure. <laughs> I got contact one o'clock far cloud deck. Tally. It's suddenly real quiet over here. And they heard two guys with comms discipline were showing up. <laughs> yeah. Contact three o'clock, go out, far. Tally, flight fall in, fighting wing, right turn. Two. Big. Yo. Okay, let me just do it just gonna move on. Do you need any more guys in your squadron? Because I've got somebody who's interested in fighting. I just want to make sure if you got that, you face that. I will definitely take more guys. My guys haven't been real active lately. Alright, cool. I'll see what he wants and uh, I might add him to your uh, gears, but... Okay, I'll that's that you. guy Redrick found? Yeah. Andy something or other? Yeah. Alright. Alright, cool. See ya. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Combat power. Two copies. Contact is currently 11 o'clock, cold. Tally. Bandit, that's flak. Two. Two push out right. Two. One is head on. Rocky Wolf. Diving. He's diving away. Rejoin two one zero heading. Left Two. turn. Two one zero heading. Visual. Down continuous. Two. Rejoin on tactical wedge. Two. Right turn. That was pretty good. Contact on the deck, uh, four o'clock. No joy. Pretty sure that's their tanks down there. Well, there's actually two contacts near our tanks. Contact four o'clock, cloud deck. Tally, flight fighting wing, combat power. Two.
Sharp right turn, we're turning head on. Two. Actually, it looks like he's cold. Looks like a 109. Roger. He's diving. Tally. We're not giving chase. Two copies. Back continuous. He's coming on me. I see that. Two maintain heading. Two copy. Separate from flight. Two copy. He's not taking the bait. Maintain heading for now. I'm gonna come back around left. Quantity two, three, five o'clock. Tally. Heading is one five zero. Two. Flight cross turn. Two. And that 50 degrees bank, right? Right. Yeah, I probably put that too steep. Heading 320. Contact One on you. On. Bandit. Turning toward. Roger. There's another one turning on your tail. Keep that heading. I'm coming around. Head on. He's passed. Two copies. Rolling with this. Eyes on you. That guy on you is climbing up. Flight disengage, egress. 360. 360, Dive. copy. Correction on that heading, 040. Zero, Zero four zero. One's driving on you, I'll call your break. Check six. Eyes on. Break, 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 break. He's passed. Back on heading. Another one on you, break, break, break. He's following you, drag him north. He's following you down. Break, shooting. Hit. Try to jink him, don't get hit. I'm coming back around. He's through. Following him straight up. You're clear. Egressing. RTB. Rucker. I'm tangled. Same area. Look for me. Lights on. I'm uh, not combat effective. I'm hit pretty Rucker. bad. Oh, taking shots. Someone's chasing me on the deck. Roger. Oh, 
Oh shoot, my elevator. And it's off. Roger. I ditched in a field. Still alive though. Two. Two is over Stalingrad, turning north to base. We can deep bring back the room. Yeah, that sounds good. Just hate how they don't report the attack view on finish. Don't have that. I know. I record the whole thing from my point of view, but uh, that doesn't give you the tactical view. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, we can still do our best with that. It will let you, like, you could still do, excuse me, the in game recording. Yeah, but I don't really like that. It's kind of clunky to use. Yeah, it's more for cinematics than, than tactics. Yeah. Hope I can make it. I hope so too. So this is the part where individual flying skills are really important, and it's why we practice that dog fighting thing. Is because if you, if you get hit a little bit like that, then you're pretty much out of the action. Yep. And uh, Buddy is really good at this, and I don't know how he does it, but. I remember once, he stayed alive long enough for me to get shot down, take off again, and rescue him from like five different <laughs> airplanes. Wow. I don't know how he does it, but he just does. And that is like godsend for your wingmen, if you can buy enough time for them to come to your aid. That's really the main goal there. It's not to, it's not to win that fight, it's to buy that time.
ice on the airfield. <laughs> Only one of my lights works. Hey, I didn't know they bottled that. down all right what's your score uh zero nice <laughs> i never well, got a gun on got one kill and one assist all right that's something yeah for the loss of one aircraft that's pretty good Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I get no lives. <laughs> yep. And no lives. Mm -hmm. You want to pull up that uh, recording and we can look through it? Yeah, let me um, switch out of my VR headset and uh, I can do that.